Yes, hello, welcome to 1000 PS TV. Today I had a great day, great sun, great uh, weather here at Sardinia and I rode the all new Ducati Multistrada V4 Rally and I really enjoyed it. Stay tuned. Let's take another look at the engine at the beginning. We're talking about an incredibly elaborate and well-designed unit. Ducati throws 170 horsepower into the pot. The V4 engine offers 1158 cubic centimeter displacement and 121 newton meter of torque. The Gran Turismo V4 has already made thousands of customers happy with the Multistrada. The engine is integrated into the aluminum monocoque and also has a decisive influence on handling. This is because, as in MotoGP motorcycles, the crankshaft in the Multistrada engine rotates in the opposite direction. This means that the gyroscopic forces from the wheels and the crankshaft act against each other and partially neutralize each other. This is the secret to the machine's spooky handling. In the forefront of the test, we were naturally quite skeptical. Was it possible to integrate the 30-liter tank well into the motorcycle? Visually, the bike looks just a little wider. But how does the heavy vehicle handle? We're talking about a net weight of 227 kg and a fuel weight of 260 kg. The system for deactivating the rear cylinder bank is certainly worth mentioning. The rear cylinder bank is deactivated as soon as the following parameters are met. RPM is below 4000. You are in gears 2 to 6 and the engine temperature is above 70 degrees Celsius. So we're talking about classic relaxed cruising. By switching off the rear bank of cylinders, Ducati can lower the temperature level on the bike and also optimize consumption. During the test in Sardinia, the consumption of the journalists who were present was between 6.6 .6 liters and 7.2 liters per 100 km according to the consumption display. At this point, however, we must also remember the weight and power 260 kg, 170 horsepower. The Multistrada V4 Rally is equipped with spoke wheels, whereby the front wheel has a diameter of 19 inches and the rear wheel 17 inches. Pirelli Scorpion trailed two tires in the dimensions 17060R17 and 12070R19 are fitted as standard. The 50mm thick fork now has a new internal travel sensor. This gives the Ducati Skyhawk suspension even more parameters for electronic control. Customers also have a good feeling about the brakes. The bike is expensive, but you don't get cheap fare. 330mm discs and Brembo Stylema brake calipers are used. The list of electronic driving aids is long. While it's a bit boring to list the gadgets, the level of perfection of these features is simply heavenly. Traction control, quick shifter, ABS, wheelie control, engine brake control are at the top level. Of course, compared to motorcycles from other brands. The adaptive cruise control and blind spot assist still stand out. New is the minimum preload function. During the test ride in Sardinia, we were allowed to test the motorcycle in a practical configuration. Tiered with Pirelli Scorpion Rally STR, mounted luggage set and bolted on crash bars, we waggled through the Sardinian curves. During the ride, two things became obvious. On the one hand, the bike was not only equipped with high quality components, but got also a great setup. The rally rides precisely and is perfect balanced. On the other hand, you enjoy a high level of comfort. The rider assistance systems are constantly busy, but intervene very sensitively. The electronic suspension offers a stiff setup when needed and easily copes with a sporty driving style despite 200mm of suspension travel. With a few tweaks in the onboard menu, the machine becomes much more comfortable and glides confidently over rough surfaces. On the gravel stages, the bike appeared robust and practical. The individual riding modes offer the successful setup with a very wide adjustment range. The minimum preload function allows you to reduce the spring preload to a minimum by pressing a button for 3 seconds. During practical use, however, the extent of the seat height reduction was poor. If necessary, it's better to go for the lower seat from the Ducati range, which can be used to lower the seat height to up to 825mm. The Multistrada V4 Rally features numerous upgrades over its predecessor, making it a worthy successor to the popular Multistrada line. One of the most significant upgrades is the increased suspension travel. 
The Multistrada V4 Rally now boasts 200 mm of travel compared to the 170 and 180 mm of the previous model. This extra suspension travel provides a smoother ride and makes the bike more capable when riding on rough terrain. Additionally, the bike's new 3.2 kg lighter spoke wheels help to reduce unsprung weight, providing even better handling on uneven surfaces. Another notable feature is the new 30 liter aluminum fuel tank. Despite its larger capacity, the tank's thin walls allow for a compact design that does not compromise the bike's handling or maneuverability. The Multistrada V4 Rally also features a ventilated smartphone compartment, a larger windscreen that is 40mm taller and 20mm wider than the previous model, and a new rear brake with an adjustable lever for both on- and off-road use. The bike's suspension system has also been upgraded, with a new suspension travel sensor that provides even more data to the IMU and 6mm more adjustment range for the front suspension preload. Additionally, the bike's new 3mm thick engine guard helps protect the engine from damage during off-road adventures. Motorcycle riding in South Sardinia is great because of the combination of beautiful coastal roads, stunning landscapes and perfect weather conditions. The region has many winding roads that are perfect for riding motorcycles, offering scenic views of the Mediterranean Sea and the rugged Sardinian coastline. The area also has many historical sites, charming villages and delicious cuisine, making it an ideal destination for motorcycle enthusiasts looking for a mix of riding and cultural experiences. Additionally, the climate in South Sardinia is generally warm and sunny with little rainfall, making it an ideal place for year-round motorcycle riding. The motorcycle is expensive, but a satisfied feeling sets in when sitting in the saddle. Ducati has mounted expensive ingredients in all corners and edges. This sets the motorcycle apart from even the most expensive competitors. It is currently the best equipped adventure touring bike. BMW fans will of course miss the Cardan Drive, whereas Honda riders prefer the DCT gearbox. When it comes to connectivity, Ducati still relies on a combination of Ducati Connect and Sijic. The Sijic app is generally okay, but the entire integration into the vehicle has been rather poor so far. Ducati has made improvements in the rally and now offers a larger and ventilated storage compartment. However, the storage compartment for the phone could have been even larger. For very large phones, the charging cable unfortunately cannot be plugged into the storage compartment. Also impractical, the keyless go keys are great, but the key always has to be fumbled out of the pocket to open the side cases. The automatic shut-off device for the rear cylinder bank was very positive. The engine still offered clean responsiveness while driving. On the other hand, the annoying heat development under the seat could be reduced. The engine offers a wide rev range, but it is slightly higher than usual for this class. Below 4000 RPM, it is a bit rough, and below 3000 RPM, it is a bit harsh. However, the V4 has not lost its fascination even in the rally. Even with 260 kilograms, the Multistrada is a very sporty adventure touring bike. As a rally, it now offers an extra dose of comfort for rider and pillion for long journeys. The Multistrada V4 Rally seat height is also adjustable, with the addition of new accessory seats that can be adjusted from 825mm to 905mm. Two alternative passenger seats are also available, one that is 15mm lower and another that is 10mm higher. New luggage mounting points also provide more space for the passenger, making the bike even more comfortable for long journeys. A short motor vlog uh, session for you. I just want to show you how fluent the bike feels during cornering, even due to the fact that it has 260 kilograms. It's, it's just, it's just marvelous. It's just marvelous. Uh, it, it's precise. It's well balanced. Uh, yeah, I cannot overtake here. Uh, it's not good on the motor vlog to overtake here, oh, guys. Um, what you hopefully can see and feel a little bit that there is a wide um, uh, possible range. You, you should not drop below 3000 RPM, then it becomes a little bit rough, but above, it's fine. Here is my lunch stop, I go back to that afterwards. But come with me, I'll show you some more corners. Come on, baby, come on. I have to show my friend. Thank you. Uh, next. What's really amazing with this bike is the fact that they really have um, a perfect balance. A perfect balance achieved by this electronic suspension in combination with this great electronics. This is my chance. On the other hand, 
and here I have a great stability, even uh, pushing hard on the gas, the bike keeps stable, everything's fine, and up there I will make a brake maneuver, you will see that the bike is not diving in with the front, it keeps really stable and we, we, we have here 200 millimeters of suspension travel, it's, it's, it's amazing. Some more corners, and then I will go back to lunch, my friends. Ah, have a look! Oh, it's, it's just, it's just great. Is it 260 kilograms. It's, everything's fine. 160 horsepower. Oh. It's, it's just pleasure. Okay. Yeah, hopefully. I got you and stay tuned and it would be great if you become a subscriber on our channel because the more subscribers we have the more effort we will put into our English YouTube channel thank you very much see you next time here on 1000bs.com the world of motorcycles